it's Monday again. It's snowing again. Been doing this nineteen years. We figured it out last night. Nineteen winters I've cleaned windows. Nineteen. That's probably not as much as some people. You know, there's probably dudes on here that like Mark Tanner, for instance, has been cleaning longer than I have. But 19 winners, oof, oof. <laughs> not, not excited about it. <laughs> it's not, yeah. It's not. I don't. I don't need any congratulations on that one. 19 winners, Lord. Well, I guess just go out and. Make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. Not eat them. Which is hard for me. So I like donuts. I like donuts. I got a load of banks to do this week. No, no. You do not have to adjust your TV sets. These are bushes right in front of the windows right where I like them depending on my motivation I'm gonna to try to get a bunch of them done today but again it's cold and snowing it's calling for rain snow today so whatever that means No sleet hail, something like that. I don't know. But those are the cards I've been dealt. So here I go. Yeah, they just got a little bit of the winter on them. 
little bit of winter mess. I think I scraped, yeah, I did scrape these the last time I did them. Yeah, baby. Who, who likes to clean windows? I do, I just love it. It's my favorite thing to do, clean the windows. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, G, what it be? What is that smell? Oh. Uh, there's pieces of rabbit over here. What the? Hello? Huh? Pieces of rabbit. I like how every bush on this property is maintained except for the fucking ones with thorns in them. Bushes. It's gonna be my next t-shirt, fuck bushes. Yep, it's happening. It's happening. See, I'm in the middle of a bush right here, too. Perfect, perfect placement for this bush. Right in the fucking way. <sighs> yeah, motherfucker. They're like, man, you don't ever detail anything. Shut up. Here, it's on camera now, you fucks. When I do it with my Mormon accelerator and my Liquidator 3.0 channel, shut up. Some Chipotle, man. That's what I want. Sounds good. Maybe even homemade Chipotle. I don't need no special Chipotle from Chipotle. Just need food, you know? Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Something stinks over here, man. Jesus. Could be me. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. I smell like... Oh, there's a rodent trap. Uh, probably a dead and something or other in there. <clears throat> Done. I'm leaving. So, yeah. It is now a full blown um, snowstorm. I am uh, I am done for the day. Um, looked at the radar. It looks like it's going to get worse. Good thing about it is it's supposed to be close to 50 on Wednesday. So you know everything makes sense in the world. Um, yeah, I'm just, ah, I'm over this weather, man. It's really easy to get, you know, inside your head and not want to do shit. You know what I mean? Especially if you're self-employed like I am. I do this for myself. You know, I don't, you know, I do it by myself. Um, I only have help in the spring and the summer. And... When you're doing this alone, it's it, there are times where it's like, man, I'm not going out there today. You know, it's too damn cold. Now the heat doesn't bother me. I'm okay with the heat. You can, you you can dress for the cold. You, they say you can't dress for the heat, and that's true. But you could at least get a little relief from the heat. Go to the truck, sit in the shade, turn on the air conditioner, whatever the case may be. But winter, man, it just cuts through you like a knife, especially where I'm at. Just the wind off the lake. Just gets, it gets ridiculous after a time. I'm not using any wash, window washing fluid. Um, I bought 
six cases at the beginning of the season. Um, they're still in the shop. I actually only went through um, a case and a half this year. And I don't do full window walk. I mean, if it's has to be done, I'll do it. But for the most part, I'm a 50-50 guy. I don't do straight fluid. If it's if I have to do straight fluid, it's too cold. You know? Let somebody... It's too cold. I don't... No. I don't want to do that stuff. I don't... I don't want to go outside when it's that cold. Who wants to go outside when it's that cold? You can wait till like the following day or a couple days for that to break, you know. But if you get into there's situations, there's winters where it's been like two, three weeks that cold. You got to do what you got to do. But I usually try to give it a day or two. If I get about two days behind on my schedule, I'm just like, oh, I guess I have to go and freeze my unit off, you know. But I'm going to try to do a video every week for the channel like this. Um. I'm gonna do a I'm shooting a documentary um, it's only gonna be available to the Patreon guys um, at the end of the year I'll, you know, I'll make it public but the start of the season as soon as it gets warm and houses start to roll I'm gonna start shooting um, I just need more activity you know what I mean like route work gets boring you know what I mean so seeing like I'm not gonna shoot Every single day, me shooting, or me just doing route work, storefronts, Wendy's and Applebee's and, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, all my storefronts and my banks, I'm not going to, yeah, you're going to, you know, you guys see enough of the same stuff already as it is, so. But my season, my season, I'm going to shoot like a whole... It's going to be like a monthly thing I'm going to upload. It's going to be chapters and um i'm gonna take guys along i'm gonna take you guys along with me uh um not just window cleaning but everything you know so it'll be cool i i think people will enjoy it i'm gonna have a camera with me 24 7 pretty much um <clears throat> i'm waiting for my i've got another see i've got i've got a session okay i've got this little I don't know where the hell it's at. I don't know what I do. Oh, here it is. I've got this little thing here. Um, this little session. Hero session. Which was the first camera. Um, he, GoPro camera I ever got. Jennifer bought me this. Jennifer and the girls bought me this for uh, my birthday. Like four years ago. And it's a nice camera and everything. It was really awesome when I first got it. But now... Uh, for whatever reason, it does not, it doesn't want to charge, it charges when it wants to, or it records when it wants to, and it's a really dis discreet, small camera, and, you know, this is what I used to carry around in my pocket all the time, you know, and that was my plan, I was like, I'm gonna just carry the, my session with me, and I'll have it, a camera on me at all times, instead of carrying the Canon, or the, the 9, my, or I'm sorry, the 10, I got a Hero 10, you know, instead of, Instead of carrying that around, I've got Jason hooked me up with a solo shot. Instead of carrying that big bulky thing around, I carry this little thing. That way, I've you know, I've always got a camera and it's discreet and I can catch, you know, life as it happens. But this thing doesn't want to work. I've tried everything. Um, I don't know. Maybe GoPro doesn't support it anymore. It wouldn't surprise me. GoPros are junk. But I got one of those... Uh, those Insta 360s or whatever it is, uh, uh, Fletcher Denning was talking about on the podcast. I didn't get the one that he got. Um, he has one. His is like a seven or eight hundred dollar camera, and I already have probably fucking close to two thousand dollars in, in a camera equipment as it is. So I bought like a middle of the road version, but it's a small camera, and that's really what I wanted was a small something small and versatile. So that's what I'm going to use. Hopefully it's got better, uh, better battery life than these hunk of shit GoPros. But yeah, man. And if all else fails, everything will be shot on my iPhone. Screw it. You know, I'll just have to, you know, sucks breaking out your phone because everybody's looking for a phone. You know what I mean? But if you got a little tiny indiscreet camera, you know, people tend to be themselves instead of douchebags, you know, so when the phone is out, so I don't know, 
We'll see how that goes. You see, I'm fogging the windows up, man. I'm breathing hard. <sighs> We've got uh, Jeffrey Scott on the podcast uh, Thursday night. So, the the Mark's March Madness, all a high rise, all March continues this week with Jeffrey Scott. So that's that's going to be super awesome. That's one of my um one of my on my lists of that's he's on one of my, the guys on my list. I've always wanted to have on the show is Jeffrey Scott um, and Michael Draper. So the list is getting. I mean, I've gotten just about everyone I've ever wanted to get on the podcast. Um, there's only a few left, like Todd Four, man. I would love to get Todd Four on the podcast. I fucking love Todd Four. Um, he's not everybody's cup of tea. He really doesn't do social media anymore, but man, is that fucking dude cool. I love Todd Four. But uh, he's a squeegee squad guy, I think in Arizona or something like that. I don't know, but Todd Four is a fucking... I just, he's the... I love that fucking dude. I just love the dude. But, uh... Yeah, man, um... Hope you guys have a great week. Let's see you on the podcast Thursday night, man. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right here on the Squeegee Life YouTube channel. We go live and do the podcast. And uh, they're always really good, man. Uh, we always have a good time, even if there isn't a guest. But this week it's Jeffrey Scott. But take her easy, guys. Peace.